I am World's Strongest Man, Mitchell Hooper, and this is a full day of eating with no food actually going in my mouth because you are weirdos. So I have started working with Stan Efferding to make sure that my diet is on point. And I think if you've looked at how my body's changed over the last two months, um, it's been crazy. I feel super strong. Uh, I feel healthy. I feel lighter. Um, and it feels like my blood pressure's in check. Everything feels like it's going really, really well. So I thought I'd put this out to you guys and show you a little bit of what we are doing. So this is my normal breakfast. I got milk, a couple of scoops of uh, perfect sports whey protein powder, as per usual. Diesel protein, get onto it. Uh, then I've got four pills of magnesium and four of vitamin D3. Don't ask me what the dosages are because I just figured it out once and it's four and four. Then I've got orange juice with plain Greek yogurt mixed into it. That is so good. Don't hate on it till you try it. You mix it in, tastes like a creamsicle. So far, no one's agreed with me, but I personally love it. And then uh, that's, that's my standard breakfast. And then I have extra carbs to make up through the day. So I'll always just chuck in some extra, extra stuff during each meal. So for this one, I'm going to go with crackers, a little bit of hummus. And uh, yeah, we'll probably have, we might go through that whole row, probably half the row. Let's be real. Um, and that is meal number one. Pretty simple. Can get this down in about 10 minutes or so. Not too much of an interruption to my life. And then we are off and running over to a 15 minute walk, which is why you'll see many of our videos are out walking. Now I go for a walk every day. I try to do it after every time after I eat a big meal, help that digest, stay moving. Don't get so sluggish. So that's that. Put in the comments. I'll put at the end how many calories you think I eat. Put in the comments. What do you think? How many calories does the world's strongest man eat? I'll give you a hint. It's probably not what you think it is. <laughs> this is a Traeger. And as I've learned, Traeger is not just a barbecue. It is a grilling piece of mastery. So usually, my knowledge was that when you barbecue, you've got gas, you've got propane, heats up, fire, boom, whatever. I was wrong. I wanted the best grill possible. Actually, my dad works at Lowe's. I said, Dad, what is the best grill I could get? And he said, Traeger, no problem. So we got this guy here and it is the most full on experience I've ever had in my whole life. So looks like a normal barbecue, but no gas, no propane. We get these pellets going and looks like rabbit food, but this puts flavor into the food goes from the pellet thing up, goes down, and then underneath here, you can see I've been getting good use of this guy. Down in there, it goes into like this little barrel, and that little barrel smokes the pellets. And so you could do meat, salmon, you could do cheesecake, anything you could do in an oven, you can do in this guy. It's actually the coolest thing. So I'm gonna kick it off. We're gonna get some salmon. We're gonna cook some salmon on here today, but I'll show you how this starts up. So it's all primed and ready to go. All that I have to do is turn this. We're going to cook salmon at 400. And then it is off and running. But that's just the start of how cool this thing is. So barbecue is off and going. You can see it's starting to get a bit smoky. That will get pretty hectic for the first couple of minutes. But I go to my app my Traeger app and I can click here and I can see the temperature. I can see how long once I've started cooking, I can see how much pellets are left. And so this guy, you could put it at a lower temperature. You could smoke things all night. You could just wake up, check your phone, see how everything's going. You could connect this to a meat thermometer that you put into the meat and goes into the app. This thing is absolutely hectic. So that's that. I eat salmon about two, three times a week. So we're going to go prepare that. We'll let the grill heat up and we will get it on there. So Mitch, while you're cutting this, uh -huh. is this your first time working with like a nutritionist or anybody like nutrition specific? Uh, since bodybuilding, yes. Obviously I had someone helping me when I was doing that, but yeah, it's just, I think the longer you go in strong, man, the more you just start to adopt like 
I'll just do what the other guys are doing. And it's much more convenient and nice to just sort of go get Chick-fil-A, go eat whatever's convenient and not give too much concern around what you're actually putting into your body. And it's sort of high stakes now because you've got a period of time where you could be the best in the world. And I'm fortunate enough to be right now. But when that time no longer comes, it's going to be much easier to swallow if I feel like during my time I've done everything that I could do. So this is certainly a big part of that. All righty. I like this. I like the look of this. All right. What are we at? We're at 262. We're going to wait to 400. And then we'll set the timer. By the way, I'm a shit cook. <laughs> this is why I get most of my meals made for me and usually Ash cooks dinner because I haven't a clue what I'm doing. But that's okay. We're making the most of it. All right. The grill is heated. The salmon is ready to go. It smells really good, eh? Yeah, it smells delicious. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, quite a strong smell coming from the pellets. So... We're going to check that on. There we go. Going to go back inside, set the timer on the phone, let them hang out, do their thing, and we'll take them off in about 20 minutes. Timer is done. Salmon is cooked. Let's see how we turned out. There we go. Lovely. Let's take it out, take it inside. We'll make ourselves some lunch. Let me know in the comments. This is episode one, barbecuing with Mitchell. Let me know, what do you want to see me cook? Caveat, I'm not that good of a cook. We're just going to give it a crack. Salmon, lemon, salt, pepper. That's about what I got, okay? But I'll do some research in the future. Let me know. So the days of being a normal human being are over. And now I don't drink water anymore, as per Stan's advice. I drink water with salt and sugar. Uh, it helps with gut digestion, apparently. Um, well, that's, I trust Stan. Excuse me. And so I measured this out and now I just estimate. A little bit of salt and a little bit more sugar than that. And this is hydration mixture for champions. Take like off whenever you're supposed to drink this. It, it's standard advice like, whenever you're thirsty. Um, so I'll probably, on average, have like three of those a day on top of my all of my pre workouts and whatnot. All right. Rice done. Salmon done. I've salted my rice. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And then I'm gonna have some more OJ for carbs. And orange juice also helps to digest meat, for those who didn't know that. And because I'm a man of the people, I'm also gonna have yogurt. Yogurt in my OJ. All right, boom. We're gonna put a couple of salmons in there. Come on, baby. If you're someone who eats salmon with the skin off, you are a psychopath. Excuse me. My hand feeding. Man handling <laughs> salmon. It's like a real man. There's lace to think about salmon. Lacey loves salmon. And so does Murphy. Murphy's over there helping me get some salmon. Murphy! What's up? Eddie? Bit of salmon feeding for the beggars. Speak! Hey! Speak! 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 Speak. Oh, good boy! Gentle.
All right, so we're done training. I have a post-workout smoothie every day. That's berries, Greek yogurt, uh, perfect sports whey protein, and milk. Um, then my lunches, I always have two of these guys, ultra fit meals. It's uh, quinoa, white rice, either chicken or beef, and then peppers or spinach. And that basically gets me through all the way to dinner. So today we're off to the Blue Jays game to throw the first pitch. Gonna take these along the way, drink this in the car ride on the way down, figure out a time to get these down, and then have dinner somewhere along the way. All right, we are back from the Jays game. It's pretty late. I got a little bit of work to do, so grab myself a lovely Timmy's coffee. My food, my pre-made meals that I picked up at the gym are heating up down in the microwave. I'm gonna try to knock those out, knock this workout, and head to bed in the next half hour or so, but really cool experience heading to the Jays game, giving that first pitch. And uh, yeah, one of those little perks of being world's strongest man is you get those experiences. So I wanna lap all those up. Um, let me know what you guys think about the diet. Is it what you expected? Is it a bit different, maybe a bit less? I uh, would love to know your thoughts. And if you have any food related questions that you'd like me to answer in future videos, go ahead and pop those in the comments as well. I will humor you with them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, and you want to support, the merch link is in the bio, Lift Heavy Be Kind. 20% go back to the local strength community to continue to try to grow the sport. Thanks very much, guys. Leave a comment, subscribe, become a member, at least like the video. Dislike the video if you'd like. Something, do something. Thank you for watching. We will catch you soon.